Well, good morning from Donna Days. Had a beautiful silver FN2 in today. For quite a bit of work, we're going to be fitting a hybrid racing induction kit, a Tegu with 4 to 1 manifold, a Tegu exhaust system, uh, doing a basic service, spark plug oil, um, gearbox oil, I think. And then it's map time. Good morning, Richard. Richard's play with his new bin. I love it, it's got a lock on it, look. Yeah, that's awesome, that's awesome. That's what we got Keith for his 40th birthday, a bin. Right, let's start work. Well, there's a lot of noise going on in the Dyna Day's workshop. Rich, what's the first task on this FN2 this morning? Well, it's not really a first task, it's just get, get on with it. Get on with all of it. Get on with all of it. I think the key is you're just gonna get, get it stripped down first. Yeah. Get everything off. New bits on. Oh, yeah, so good. hybrid racing induction kit, four to one manifold, exhaust, oil and filter, spark plugs. Um, I'm going to have to go and see what else is on the list, mate. Yeah, no, it's, the thing, what I'm saying is with this is, for example, you wouldn't, if I take this part off, that enables me to get to the exhaust manifold. It also takes the rocker off. It makes it easier to get at the airbox. So it's like, it's, whilst it's a process of three jobs, you're not taking it on and off three times. Sure. You're only gonna, so what I'm going to look to do is remove everything that needs removing, i.e. like strip everything completely off the car, and then I'll obviously start putting the new bits on, and then obviously piece it back together. Good stuff. I'll come and see you in a bit. Well, car's made it up onto the dyno, the silver FM2. Richard has fitted hybrid racing induction kit. He has done spark plugs, oil and filter, gearbox oil change, fitted the new Tegua 4 to 1 manifold and the Tegua 70mm catback. I'm installing the base file onto the car. Uh, we're going to do a power run at this point with our base file and we're going to start tuning from that point forward. So uh, it's nearly finished flashing. So let's do a power run. You work bloody hard today, ain't you, Rich? I work hard every day, mate. Bloody, well, you've worked hard today. All I've seen you today do today is sit on your chair and eat. So don't let, don't say that I haven't done anything today. You haven't seen what I've been doing, mate. I've been watching you through the window. Well, then you've not been working. Oh, well, I'll, I can see through the person's window, keep my eye on you. Do you know how many parcels I've packaged today? I ain't interested. <laughs> Beautiful silver FN2 on the dyno that you are tuned in. Seems to be going quite well. Um, you've done some modifications today, haven't you? So that was good. We'll uh, list the mods at the end. But um, I tell you what, I've been into Uncle Keith's workshop this afternoon. He's done some magical stuff. Magical stuff with the Uncle Keith's logo on, uh, on the boot lid and the bonnet of that red EP3. Is it magical? It Honestly, to me, as a layman, mm. it's magical. We'll, we'll see when it's lacquered, won't we? We'll, well see I, what it looks like. We'll put it this way. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want so it. I, whatever what he is doing right now is what I want on my vehicles. Mm. So yeah. We'll go and see Uncle Keith in a bit. But uh, right now, let's uh let's get back on with making some powers out of this. We will. We will.
take, let's do it. Right. Let's get on with it then. Lovely. FN2, lovely. L lovely silver FN2. Got some lovely little carbon bits here and there, which I quite like myself. Mm. In silver. I think it looks quite smart in silver. silver. I'll make Steve's got one of these. It's certainly nice. look better than silver than they're doing red, in my opinion, but mm, okay, okay, for what that's worth. Okay. Uh, cars come in today for a lot of work, in fairness. It's probably more work than we would necessarily book for one day, but these gentlemen have travelled down from Scotland, so we've accommodated them. They've dropped it off early. We started a bit early this morning. Uh, we've done oil and filter, we've done gearbox oil, we've done spark plugs, we've done valve clearances, we have done a Tegua 4 to 1 decap manifold, we've done a Tegua 70mm catback exhaust. Hybrid racing induction we've kit. We've done a hybrid racing induction kit with the uh, change of the top coolant hose and battery relocation and obviously you know cutting the inner wing and getting it all in there and Beautiful. doing all that was obviously quite a lot of work. Uh, and then mapped it. Mapped it up and it has mapped up to 223 brake horsepower, which is three brake horsepower more than the customer wrote on his form. Yeah, so wrote his form. I mean, it's great. I mean, like you say, they, you would expect with this level of mods to be around that 220 to 225 on these because of the exhaust design like we've touched, touched on before. It has got a good exhaust in this car. Customer said, where did you go from here? And I says, well, inlet manifold's your next step, you know, to break the 230 or to get up to the sort of 230. And if you want the sort of 240, might better get yourself some cams. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we had a lovely chat with him. He seems really happy with everything. Um, you know, he's over the moon with the power and the figure and everything. So we're going to go through the uh, all the map controls and everything with him in a moment, and uh, we're going to get him on his way home. Yeah, back on his way. He might be home by tomorrow. He might be. Yeah, it's a long way. You know. It is. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Let's have a look at the graph. Go on. Okay. So there you go. As Lydia as it comes, what a great performing FA2 this is. And we finish on two hundred and twenty-three point five brake horsepower, which is just shy of one hundred and eighty-eight of the wheels. What a lovely car. So thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. Today's code word is silver. Because <laughs> I'm so imaginative. Yeah. So silver it is. If you, pieces of eight. Mm. Did you know pieces of eight were silver? Yeah. Everyone thinks pirate money is gold, but it's not silver. Mm. It's something to do with Spanish money. Pesos or something like that. Anyway, that's completely on a tangent. So see you on the next one, won't we, Rich? We will indeed. We will indeed. Fast. Happy birthday, Keith. How'd you like your new bin? Cheers, mate. Yeah. It's amazing. Look at it. Yeah. Brand new. Oh, it's lockable. It's lock I will let you have the key for your next birthday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got plenty of rubbish in it. <laughs>